everyone and welcome to our jungle themed care to watch today i'm laura and i'm poppy and today we're going to be just doing some animal themed crafts ready for the september ball um so today we're going to be making uh, two types of different snakes we've got an elephant to make and a tiger so we thought um as we've got our september ball coming up we wanted to make sure that everybody got in the jungle you know the jungle spirit and we had some jungle animals to make so we'd really really like everybody to get involved so if you'd like to make any of the animals please please go ahead and make them with us send them back to us and we'll, we would love to decorate the September ball with everybody's animals so today we're going to start off with the elephant I've got one here that is pre-cut so we've got our so if I get a plate so you can see so we started off with our plate so we've got our plate and then we essentially cut that into pieces so you've got your four pieces here that help you create your elephant if we go with a plain paper plate so we'll start off with cutting straight in. So we cut straight to that middle line and then we stop where that circle is on the inside because that is the face of the elephant. So you've cut in and then you're going to cut round. So we're gonna make sure we go all the way round on that circle and that is the elephant's face. So we'll keep going. How is everyone getting on with their elephants? And I wonder what color they're choosing to make their elephants. It'd be nice to see lots of multicolour elephants, actually, I think, at the September ball. Especially yellow ones, brighten the place up a little bit. Glitter elephants. Danielle would make a glitter elephant. So then we've got our circle and our paper plate. So now you need to make sure that we have then, so you've got to make sure that you get two ears and a trunk out of your circle here. So I would say about here if this is the circle i would say about here is your trunk so i'll show you on here about that much because then the rest of that is going to be your ears because you want them nice and big because elephants have really really big ears so i'm going to cut that bit and that'll be my trunk and then two ears uh, poppy earlier uh, decorated an elephant so we cut the elephant up first and then what we did was we we decorated it so it was already pre-painted but you can also get a plain paper plate and you can decorate that before and paint it before you cut it. So I'm going to sellotape our elephant. So from the back, we'll sellotape the ears on. So we've got our main face here of our elephant here. And then we've got our two ears. So you can see our two ears here. And we're going to put them on like that so they stick out and they're on like that. And then we can sellotape them on. And then when we turn that over, we've got our elephant ears. So I'll do that now. We've also got eyes to add. You can paint your elephant before or you can paint your elephant after. It's absolutely fine, whichever way you want to do it. Right, so we've got ears on. No worries, no rush. So now we've taped them on the back. We've got our elephant with our ears on the back there. And obviously our trunk needs to go on the front, not on the back. So we can sellotape that on or we can glue. I think I'll glue my trunk on. So let's put his trunk on. So that essentially is our elephant. Got our elephant here. So we can put eyes on either side. Oh, I like it. It looks good. Just need to stick the eyes on. So I'm going to make my eyes. Are you using googly eyes? Yeah, I can oh, use googly nice. eyes. So. so Poppy's using googly eyes. I'm going to stick mine on with I'm some going glue. for paper eyes, which I'll glue on. So I'm going to make them into circles. So we've got one circle. And another circle. Oh, I love it. He looks great. You know where he's going to look really good? At the September ball. Yes, <laughs> centre stage. <laughs> So I would put my eyes on so and put them on and then I would paint around so you could just then paint everything blue. So if I get my pen, I've got a black pen, do my circles. You can paint or you can colour or you can use tissue paper, there's that. I think the possibilities to decorate your elephant are endless so let's go for it and uh, we're looking forward to seeing everybody's colourful elephants. Yeah. And that's our elephant. So, if we move everything to the side, elephants might not have been your thing, so we can have a look at a tiger. So, for a tiger, what you're going to need, so I can look at my tiger, is <laughs> paper plate. So, you will need a paper plate, 
So there we go, that's that one. You will need either googly eyes again, so you can go googly eyes, or you can go uh, bigger eyes and have two white bits of uh, paper or card there for eyes. You also need some black card or paper to make your, I think it's called a snout. I think we'll yeah. go. It's like their nose and their mouth area. Yes. <laughs> area. So we'll go with that and we'll need a bit of that for that. We will also need black strips of paper or card to make your tiger stripes. So you want to make sure we've got plenty of those. And then also the nose I've done separately to go with your snout mouth area. So we've got some of those. And then we also obviously need the orange to cover our tiger. So I've done tissue paper and there's lots of different oranges there, but we're gonna be gluing all over. And then obviously ears, don't forget your ears. So I've got some orange card for my ears, or you could use tissue paper or whatever you wish really. So I've got orange card as well, so that's there. And then there's our tissue paper. Have you got all that puppy? I have, yeah. Wonderful. So if we start with our paper plate, We'll have our paper plate and I think what we'll do is we'll start and we'll just start gluing all of our tissue paper all over so it sticks everything. So we'll just start with our tissue paper so you can see we're just going to put some glue on and we're just going to start. I like, I'm going to mix mine up I think with the different colours and shades of orange. As much as they're stripy I think they have like lots of different shades don't they of orange on them so. Yeah. How is everybody getting on? Gluing everything on your plates. You can go as much or as little as you'd like with the, uh, with the orange. So we're looking forward to seeing everybody at the September ball. I've covered most of mine. How are you looking over there? Yeah. Nice, Very nice. Very mixed match, but a lot of patches, but... Mine's a bit more textured than that. So I've done, so here we are. That's my tiger. I might add a few more actually, because there's a couple of gaps on there. So I might just add a few more and then we can look at doing stripes then. So obviously all tigers have stripes. I think actually as well, all tiger stripes are different than somebody else's stripes. I don't think, one tiger is the same as the other. I think that's quite a cool fact about tigers. Actually, I have a joke. I have an, we've, we've obviously prepped some animal jokes for everyone, if anyone's interested in having a laugh. What jokes have you got? Okay. My first one is, what time is it when an elephant sits on your fence? I don't know. It's time to get a new fence. <laughs> I liked it. Enjoyed it. Did I tell it well? Did I, was it a good joke? That was a good joke. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I love elephants, so anything elephant related I'm going to love. <laughs> so there is our tiger face. So we've done all of our orange on there. How are you looking, Poppy? Yeah. Okay, so now we've got our tiger stripes. So we can put these anywhere. Some tigers have loads of stripes or some tigers just have a few. So I'm probably going to do, I don't know, I think I'm going to start putting them on and see, but we obviously need to make sure that we glue those down so they don't come off. So I've done different size stripes as well because I thought that was quite important. Yeah, some, some of them, them have really thick ones, don't no. they? I wonder if anybody's actually been to a zoo or anything and seen a tiger in real life. That would be interesting. If you have, you know, get in touch and let us know. We'd love to know about where you went and where you saw the tigers. That would be amazing. I saw one at Woodlife Wildlife Centre. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, you know what, actually, I did. We went to do... Um, Oh, we went to meet the penguins. We did a meet the penguins and there was a tiger there as well. Yeah. That was really good. I think Phil and Katie, they would have seen the tiger as well. Get in touch, Phil, Katie. Let us know what you thought of the tiger. See if our tiger's any good. If it, you know, matches or looks a bit like the tiger at Woodside. We'd love to know what your thoughts on our tigers. And also, send your tigers in. I think I'm only going to put that many stripes on. I think I've done too many stripes, but the thoughts there. I like it. Roar! Is that your tiger? Yeah, that was my tiger. <laughs> so now we've got our stripes. So there we go. So we're one step closer to our tiger. So next, I'm probably going to put on uh, my eyes. So I'm going to do paper eyes. What are you doing? I'm going to do paper eyes this oh, Okay, time. lovely. So I'm just going to cut that again. So you can see, just cutting the circle and then we've got our one eye. I'll pop it on there so I don't lose it. And then again, I started with a square because it's so easy to just cut a, a circle kind of shape then at that point. So 
There we go. So we've got our two eyes, and we're going to glue those onto there, and then we can put the um, the centre bit of our eyes in. I'll probably use um, a pen again. It's a lot easier. We'll just glue that eye on. Wonderful. We'll get our pen. We're literally just going to colour. So we can colour that in. Oh, my tiger's looking really good. So there we go. My tiger now has eyes. Has your tiger got eyes, Poppy? Yeah, they're very small, but they're there. Oh, I like it. Okay, so now we can do ears on the back. So you should have, have you got some of these? Should have two bits of orange, orange card there. And all we're going to do is we're going to make, so I draw it on here and then I can show you. So we're just going to do like a bit of an arch at the top because that's all the ears are. They just go round like that. If I cut this out, I can show you. So go round on that one. There we go. And I'll show you on the close-up. There we go. Look, that's our tiger ear shape. And we're just going to glue that onto the back. So I would glue it behind in the right place, of course, not on the top of his head. That might be too much. So we're just going to glue that here. So I'll flip that over and glue one, and then I can glue the next one. Oh, I'm quite happy with that already. There we go, one ear. I'll turn him over, just match that side. I'll do it here. Oh, I like my ears, I'm quite happy. Let me see. My ears? Oh, I love it. Very good. So we've got ears. So now we're actually just missing, I think, a nose and a mouth. Okay, so we've got black noses that are cut out and we're gonna put him straight in the middle there. There we go. And then we've got a bit of a bit where we need to make a snout. So we've done the nose. So this is the kind of shape we need to make because when we put it on here, we'll be able to do that. And that's gonna be the tiger's mouth. So we can now glue that. So if I show you that shape one more time, it's roughly about that. So we have a bit going down and then a bit of like a smile. It's a bit of like a smile, I've well, done more of a frown, but. Oh, I'm quite happy with my tiger. I can't wait to see everyone's tigers. Are we all having a good time making our tigers? And then what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to hang them in, in the hall and we can just have like tigers on display, like in the bush and things. Look, oh, look at that, look. My tiger is hiding in the bush. Like it's, it's gonna be great. They're gonna be great for the decorations and I'm, I'm just hoping that everyone's having a really good time making them. So that's it. So far we've done our elephant and we've done a tiger. So what we'll do is we'll be able to move on to a snake now. So we've got two different types of snakes. So we've done one out of a paper plate again, because that works really, really well. I think paper plates, I'm all about the paper plates. And so we'd start with a paper plate and you'd end up cutting it all the way around in a circle. So I can show you in a minute. So we'll just cut all the way around and we'll keep going and keep going until we get to the middle to make a head. So Poppy's got one we cut earlier. that that's gonna look really good in like the the foliage again and just on the vines it's gonna look good so you can either cut your snake and then decorate it so again you can use paints glitters um, just the you know the felt tips you can use anything you want really you can either paint it before cutting or paint it after cutting you can even stick like stickers on it and shapes and loads of different things why I'm, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly decorate mine first before I cut it I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah? Do you want to decorate yours that you've done? That yeah. we've cut? So if you do that one, I'll decorate before and then I can show everyone how to cut it. What colours have you gone for, Poppy? Go red, green and pink. Oh, nice. I like green, but like a princess vibe of a snake. All oh, right, right. So. Again, though, snakes can be any colours. I think I'm going to use three different colours on my snake. So I'm going to do them like that and do it striped and then cut it. So if I've done a green, I might do a purple now, I think. So you can obviously decorate it before, decorate it after you've cut it, whichever you want to do, really. We're looking good. So I've done mine striped, so I've pre-done mine, so we can see that. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a close-up now of how I cut it so you can make your snake. So I always start just, just anywhere on this bit where it's ribbed, really. But I'm gonna start here and you'll watch me turn the, turn the paper plate and I'm just gonna cut as I go and stay the same width. 
away from this edge here. So you're just going to keep cutting and just keep going so you can see that. And then when you get to here, you're just going to go in and keep that the same distance as you're going round. So you can just keep going round and then you'll slowly start to get into the snake and you can see your snake forming. You can see him dropping down here. Looks great. I'm looking forward to seeing lots of colourful snakes. Please send your snakes in. Oh, my snake's all over. Look, look at him. He's got a mind of his own. He has, actually. <laughs> OK, hold on. OK, so there we go. We cut it all the way. So here's his head here. And then you can just see him. How long my snake is. Quite happy with him. Just going to sit there. So then you end up with that. How are you getting on? Yep, nearly that. Oh, oh amazing. Got a little bit to do. Oh, he is really colourful. I like it. So. Nice. So we've got my snake. I wonder how long everybody else's snake is. I like it. So I'm going to put, so this is my head here, so you can see him. Let me see that there, let me put it like that. There we go. So I'm going to put eyes on here and here, and then we'll put a tongue on here. So you can use tape or glue. These googly eyes that we'll send are self-adhesive. So you can literally just take a tab off, and then they'll just stick straight on. So we'll take that tab pop that down there and then oh he's actually stuck to my finger and then we can pop our eye on there we go and then we'll have another one I'm gonna glue my eyes on so I can't get this it's used to <laughs> there he is he looks so good on the camera he looks great I love my snake it looks really good so then we've got so we've just got a small small bit of red card and what we'll do is we'll just cut into into a, into a triangle inside that end bit so and then we'll watch that come out there we go and there is our snake tongue what we're going to do is we're going to glue that and then glue it to the end of our mouth here and then there is our snake now we've done our colouring on our snakes, we've done our eyes and we've done our tongue and we've made sure we've cut all the way round to make that swirly snake on that paper plate. We all have snakes, which is great. So I hope everyone's had a great time making the paper plate snake. I think I might put mine maybe just on here, and on there. He looks like he's going through the bush there, through the, through the foliage and we're going to lose him. He, he looks great. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll make another snake. So the other snake we have is a paper chain snake so we were working on them earlier obviously as you do because we like to get involved and i've already oh yeah you've done well as well poppy tell them about your pattern poppy so i went more like re yellow red purple green and i started to color them so like you can see here like i've got a few that i've started to draw designs on to add a bit of personality to my snake just to spice it up a little bit so what we need is for a snake, I'll talk you through what we need. So we all we all need, we need some different coloured, or you can use the same colour if you like the same colour snake, but we've got all different colours of, of strips of card there. And then you'll need those, you'll need some tongs. So I pre-cut some tongs, wonderful. And then we need some card to make our mouth, so I'll show you the card for the mouth, that's that. And then uh, these will turn out like this. So we pre-made this mouth connected to one of the rings. So you can see that. So that's all ready to go. So we'll talk you through everything. How I'm doing mine is I'm sellotaping my rings together. Poppy, how are you doing your I'm rings? I'm doing mine with glue. So what I do is literally just loop it round, then hold it in place like this. Then I literally just glue it on the end there. And then I literally just hold it into place. And then that's how I get my loop. Wonderful. And mine, so what I do for mine is I get a little bit of tape off the roll here. I cut a bit of that off. There we go. And I can hold that. I'll get a bit of card, so I've gone with yellow this time. I'll loop it through like Poppy did. But without gluing, I just sellotape my loop together like that on that join there. So there we are all joined together and we'll keep going with that. You can make a snake as long as you'd like, a little snake, a big long snake. You can make the rings bigger. So what I can do is I'm talk you through the mouth. So we've got one here that we made earlier. Um, hold on, let me put my snake up there, look. So we've got one we made earlier. So that's that one. And then we've got the mouth shape 
that I'll show you how to make and the card so we need the card to make the mouth so you've got this bit of card and you're going to bend that over and we're just going to like that crease that so we'll just make sure we run our fingers over that so it's now it looks like that and then all we're going to do is to make that shape so I can turn it this way for you we can just go around and just cut straight over there like that so you've got that curve and then we're just going to flip it over and we're going to curve again so we'll just go over and curve so then you know then you've got this one so these are two different sizes then what you need to do is you need to do your tongue so we're going to put a tongue inside so we've got our tongue inside our mouth there we go nice snake mouth I like it and then we can sellotape that to one of the rings that we've done here so I'll put mine here on the corner we're going to sellotape this bit and that bit there we go so we sellotape that bit so you could leave it but it's just not that secure so I'm going to sellotape this bit and this bit together and then I've got one eye so oh, I've stuck to the table don't do that guys don't stick to the table so I've got one eye and then we'll put the other one on there we go definitely level there we go so you've got your head and your oh lovely oh I like your your tongue yeah I thought I'd go for a different type of tongue I like it okay so now we're gonna do one last loop but this time we're gonna put these two together so if you get one loop so we'll go through one loop here and you'll put it through the other one like that bring them together and then that joins the two loops together so it's all one big snake now I'm very happy with my snake here he is and then that's my snake I just got like a little moving mouth hello I'm Simon the snake <laughs> there we go wonderful so that is our paper chain snake so we've had loads of different bits going on but we've got that end result and we've got our paper chain snake that's it that's our care to watch so thank you so much for joining us if you had a good time coffee oh, it's been a blast oh, it's been really <laughs> <good>. wonderful <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time making all your animals and we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.